Hello guys, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Forex Boat Trading Ideas for, for the upcoming week. This is Victor with you, and I would like to remind you all the information presented in this video for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. In today's idea, we will be looking at the pound versus Canadian dollar and expected downtrend. Before, as usual, we will continue with our previous ideas. I will show you what actually happened. We had multiple of them on um, related in pound, Australian dollars with franc and so on. So let's get started. The oldest one was uh, pound Australian dollar, which I still expect very strong downtrend uh, to continue and hit the target. You can see price is moving down. And this is the reason why we also uh, choosing the pound versus uh, uh, Canadian dollar and previously we had a pound versus Swiss franc as well so it looks like the pound will be very weak in the in uh, coming in the coming week so next idea was Australian Japanese yen we expecting the price to actually uh, close this gap it almost reached target I would expect it to be reached probably on Monday but for now, stop loss can be moved to the break even point wherever you are entered. I would not expect a huge pullback, uh, although it's possible. So fixing some profit is also a good idea. Now on Australia Swiss franc, uh, we are expecting the second target to be reached, uh, which is 0 0.6275. And yes, here we can see a stronger pullback because of the pounds with Frank expected to go down. So I'm not sure whether it's pound or going to get weak or with Frank going to get strong. So here a correction down is possible, especially towards 6046 resistance. So first profit taking zone has been reached. Uh, stop loss can be easily placed at the break even point and some profit also can be taken at this level. Uh, for Australian Swiss franc, although we are waiting for the second target to be reached. Uh, the next one is pound uh, versus Swiss franc. We had it this week. Oh, we had overall the uh, stop loss around this level. What I see, guys, is that for our close failed to be above this high, which is still very bearish for the pound Swiss franc, there was a spike produced. I guess it was a stop loss kick out move by the market and most likely it will not go further up. I think it should be uh, used for shorting as well again and with the exit signal if for our close will be above this level at 120.90. Uh, so waiting for the 4 hour close above then it will be invalidated uh, but for now I still expect this target to be reached or at least one of these FIBS levels. Our initial target was here at 23.6, but I think it will move much lower towards one of the targets, either 50 FIBS or 61.8 FIBS. Now we are moving to the Canadian uh, pound versus Canadian dollar. And here is the idea basically for today. Now I'm looking at the daily chart. I use this FIBS applied to the correction, basically where when the price bounced broke and then bounced off the uh, 200 simple moving average. We had this bounce, I applied FIPS and you can see it has reached the uh, 361 uh, Fibonacci retracement level, cleanly rejected it. Then uh, I applied another FIPS to this wave down and we see that 76.4 has been rejected cleanly. First there was a spike above but then there was a clean bounce off this level. And this makes me think that we are uh, going to go down further. We are now at 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level. And this is acting as a resistance. The target I have is basically corresponds to one of these FIPS applied here is 76.4, which is 1.7020 area. Why this area is important is because we had a multiple breakouts above below uh, bounds of the simple moving average. This area is very important and it can be acting as a magnet for uh, for the pound Canadian dollar. And I would expect this price to be tested. Now let's move on to the four hour chart. Here, I also apply the FIPS uh, to this wave down. 
we can see it has reached 38.2 FIBs here. Clean, very clean rejection. This is good. Uh, and today we're tempted actually to go higher, although there was only a few spikes, not even quite big spikes. And this says that still the bear, bears dominating in the pound Canadian dollar in the shorter time frame. So yet another wave, perhaps it will be ABC correction to the uh, to the downside, but still it's it's a quite a big move of around uh, 400 pips. Uh, and I would expect this scenario where the price will be going down. Now we would need to watch this resistance area and the daily close above, uh, probably uh, 1.75 would be an exit signal for the short setup and the target is 1.7020 area we need to see how the price will be acting here now on the one hour chart finally we have applied here the descending channel uh, and we see that price has reached the top of the channel previous level of support and here was a resistance resistance once again we can see it's being rejected now, another thing is clean bounce of the moving average, 200 moving average, after which price failed to produce a new high. So there was no enough power, not enough steam to, to go higher, which means that it will most likely move down. I have applied FIPS also to this correction where price tested the, the, the high upper trend line of the descending channel. And... Um, we see 161.8 FIPS actually corresponds quite a bit, not, not exactly, to our previous support. And this makes the area of 169.85 to 170.20 our potential downside target. It also corresponds with the lower uh, trend line of the descending channel, and which means that we might be reaching uh, this target quite fast, actually. Uh, it says here, if we see on the time, it's 12, which could be in the two uh, trading days. Now, we will need to see what will happen. Uh, but this is the idea for, for the week, is a pound Canadian dollar shorting idea. We need to see also this resistance to hold. Probably the best case uh, for, for trading here would be to wait until Monday and probably see a couple of hours of trading on Monday where the price, if there is no huge gap above, uh, it should be a good entry point for shorting. Uh, so yeah, just wait for the Monday, uh, opening price, see a couple of hours, two, three hours, how price is reacting. And this will be probably the best entry time for, for shorting. Also make sure that there is no huge spikes above this resistance. So that's it guys for uh, this week. Uh, hope you will have a nice weekend. Enjoy it and stay healthy. Don't forget to put the like and subscribe to our channel to see next videos.